Do you ever have one of those days where you just can't get cool? I should have started this day so much earlier because it is going to get so unbearable. Today is something I've been putting off for uh, about two years now. Um, I've got to move my trailer. So I bought a camper two years ago with the intention of rebuilding it and traveling full time with Alex and then we had a baby and everything changed. So now I have to go move it and I'm trying to decide whether I want to keep it and rebuild it still or just sell it and, and be done with it. Uh, most likely I should just sell it. But if you guys want to see a rebuild of that trailer still, I'm happy to do it. I just have to find somewhere that I can do it. So now today I've got to go get it off the land where it is and move it here where my office is, where it's going to stay indefinitely, just in, in storage. neglecting for two years now. I actually have not been out here since September, so uh, I didn't account for all the grass and weeds growing up around it, so I did not bring a weed eater. All right, let's take a look inside this thing. I think it's been like nine months since we looked at this thing last. God knows what it's like on the inside. Oh my God. I bet it's, I bet it's over a hundred degrees in here, easy. So this is the current status of the trailer. We started doing some renovations, tearing out the floors, getting measurements, and, and planning on what to do. We took out this awful air conditioner, started taking off all the cabinets and doors, and we were gonna start taking off all of these panels. Each one, we gotta drill each rivet, and these all have to come off in a certain order, and then we have to take out the floor first. Also probably some wasps and stuff. I see some dead ones in here but uh, you can see that we came in here and started working a little bit we didn't get a whole lot done before it got too hot to even be out here but uh yeah I think it's in worse shape now than it was just because it's been sitting for two years definitely lots of bees and bugs in here um, which can be solved but to start we're gonna have to do the floors we're gonna have to tear out all the floors because there there was some water damage there which you can see there was also some here, and the floor dips really bad in this little hallway, if you will. And it looks like, now that we got this out, there's some water damage back here too. So basically you have to rebuild the whole subfloor, which, and you can hear the whole thing start creaking when I stand right here. Yeah, so that needs to be redone. But I, I found plans for building a subfloor for an Avion Legrand, and uh, once we get the floor out, and a new floor in. Obviously all this stuff has to come out. We gotta do the walls and uh, we, we could leave the walls but we have to patch the holes because that's that's where the water damage is coming from is from somewhere in the walls. Uh, I know there's one up here on the corner which you can even see on the outside. Wow somebody is going crazy. Um, there's one on this front corner that I know of. There's one somewhere over here but we have to take all of these wall panels out and redo the insulation because there's probably mold in there. I mean, this is a 1976 model Avion. But once you get the floor and the walls done, you can really just do the inside however you want. And that's that's one of the reasons we wanted to do this was to just have some fun with it and, and make this trailer truly ours. But obviously that didn't happen. Let's get this thing hooked up to the truck and get out of here because it is it is extremely toasty see what the, the tongue situation looks like should be able to get to it pretty easily the question is whether I can uh, raise this the battery is dead dead like very dead and I've got to figure out I gotta remember really uh, how to manually raise the trailer so before we get started and put the hitch on the truck one thing with this sweet tailgate that you have to be concerned with or wary of is remembering that you've got a hitch installed. Uh, they make hitches that work specifically with this tailgate that drop down. You need like a six inch drop to clear this step. Uh, I'd rather just not drop this part of the tailgate, but the whole point is forgetting about that. You see some pretty nasty pictures of these tailgates marred up by a hitch when this thing drops on it. But there is a company in North Carolina that actually makes a bypass switch that uh, when you have a hitch pin 
in here, there's a little switch over here that recognizes there's a pin through it and it will disable the top button, which is the, just the top half. So the bottom half can still drop, just this one's disabled if you have a hitch pin in there. And uh, I'm thinking about doing that because I know for a fact that I'm gonna forget some things here and then just drop that on there because that is a, a pretty massive hitch. This was set up for my Tacoma. So you can see we're pretty far off, uh, a good eight inches, maybe more, probably more because we got to get it over the ball. But this was actually set up for my Tacoma to haul this thing. It's a long way to go and I have to manually raise this thing with this little screw. So, sweet. Well, I made a couple of stupid mistakes. Uh, I forgot about the legs that lift it up off the ground when you park it. Uh, I had those lowered and I had everything hooked up and I pulled forward and yanked the back one halfway off. And the other thing that happened, this was no fault of my own, but I started to drive off and my truck notified me that there's no trailer connected anymore. And uh, the, the line that I had running to the brakes just snapped. So I have no brake lights and I have one of the legs, the support legs, or lifts, uh, dragging the ground. So I have two problems to solve, and I have uh, nothing to work on the brake line, or not the brake line, but the lights, the, the wire for the lights. I have nothing to work on that with, and uh, I have no idea how I'm gonna get the, the leg or lift off the bottom of this thing. So here is the issue with the lift. So this one is mostly okay. Uh, it's kind of angled up that is supposed to be <laughs> like straight out not up into that aluminum panel uh, that side is not supposed to be dragging the ground <laughs> oh man fun stuff it's flipped upside down now too cool uh, it's also thunderstorming outside and, and I decided to come home. It was way too hot out there and I decided that it was probably best to wait until I get some tools for the job. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get that lift off. I think I'm either going to have to get a sawzall and cut it off or, or yank it off. Those jacks are jacked and they're stuck. So I uh, figured it'd be best to regroup and go out there with the right tools and, and prepared for what uh, we have to do. So I've got to rewire the brake lights because when the jack, I pulled forward and the jack pulled the brake lights out uh, so I got to rewire brake lights the spider on my leg so I got to rewire the brake lights and get the jack removed and then we can proceed but until then that trailer's gonna sit there as you can probably tell by the much longer beard and the shorter hair it's been a while since I left you guys with this trailer situation uh, long story short I had to get a sawzall and cut off the jack from the back uh, it was mangled up pretty bad. In fact, the jack is right here and you can see how how twisted up it was. We didn't do anything to it other than cut that half of the bracket off of the sawzall. So it got mangled up pretty bad. Long story short though, I got it here. I got it moved without any sort of issue. Uh, but it's been sitting here for long enough and now I've got to move it again, which I'm not going to bore you with. I just have to move it a little further back on the property. But uh, yeah, I think I've decided that I'm most likely not going to renovate this thing. Uh, if it doesn't sell, then I might as well because I'm going to lose a bunch of money on it if I don't sell it. But if anybody is interested in it, let me know. Just hit me up in Discord. Uh, I'll give you a pretty good deal on it because it's just going to cost me money at this point. So 
I think I need to cut my losses and stop adding more projects to my to-do list and, and just focus on making stuff that I really want to make. Um, I'd love to renovate this thing, but it's just, a, it's just a matter of time and not having enough of it to do it. I've got another baby on the way, a YouTube channel, two YouTube channels to manage, and I just don't think it's, it's feasible to think that I'm going to do this. So, uh, yeah, I think it's time to cut my losses with this trailer and, and just move on. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do have another channel if you're new here and you just stumbled upon this. I do have another channel where I focus on everyday carry gear. And now a podcast called Whiskey Knife Fight where I talk about all sorts of things with my buddy Jeremy. It's great. Everything is linked down below. But thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon.